What's going on everyone? You're back with your boy Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to find the area of composite shapes and we actually already have all the skills needed in order to get this 100% correct. The only piece of advice that I am going to give you is go slow when you do these. Just writing out a couple of words will make a massive difference to determine whether or not you will get these right. So the only thing you need to do is work out, hey, what shapes are in this question? And if you can write those down, I guarantee you're going to get marks. So for this one here, it's pretty simple. Oh, there's a triangle on top of a rectangle. If I write that down, I'm going to be more than halfway to getting this right. And if I think about what's happening, I've got to find the area of the rectangle and plus the area of the triangle. Once you've done that, you've basically done this topic. So all I've got to do is find the area of each one and then add them together, just like that formula says. So the formula for that triangle there, it's gone up six, so its height is six, and the base down the bottom is 20. Remembering that the formula for a triangle is a half times the base times the height, I've got a half times 20 times six. That's one part of my equation. I could do that right now and get the answer, or I can do it all in one step. Because I know I've got to plus the area of the rectangle, all I have to do is go plus 10 times 20, and that'll give me that bottom section. If I throw that all into my calculator, the first bit gives me 60, the second bit gives me 200, so my answer is 260 centimeters squared, and that's all we have to do. These questions are super good because you always get three marks for them, so if you've got the triangle and rectangle written down, you're showing your teacher, hey, this is what I'm doing. If you've got the formula for both of them done in your working, you get a mark for that, and then you get one for your final answer. So three marks come incredibly easy. So one of my big pro tips for this is please use the diagram that's been given to you. If you don't like doing the working in one step like I did that last time, I would highly recommend writing in your answer for each one as you go. So if I go back up to this one, I knew that the area of the triangle is 60. 20 times six is 120 divided by two. I would actually write 60 in there. Just so if you make a mistake down the line, your teacher goes, oh, they've definitely worked out the area of that triangle. And then because that rectangle was 10 times 20, which would be 200, you can straight away see, oh, it's 200 plus 60, 260 full marks. So that pro tip, I think, really helps give you a bit of clarity just in case you do make a mistake with your calculations or your actual calculator in an exam. So for this second example, we've got two shapes that look a little bit harder, but again, we're gonna smash it. We've obviously got a triangle down the bottom, kind of like an ice cream cone. And then on the top there, we've got a semicircle. So if I write those two things down, I'm like halfway to getting this right. So I'm gonna do the semicircle first. So I know that the area of a circle is pi r squared, and in this one, I've got half of it. So all I've gotta do is write a half multiplied by pi, multiplied by the radius, which is seven, not 14, seven squared, and that's my semicircle done. I'm gonna throw that into my calculator and I get the answer 76.97. And once that's in there, I know that I can't go wrong later. Now I've just gotta find out the area of the triangle. The area of a triangle is a half multiplied by the base, which there is 14, multiplied by the 22 it goes down. Again, throw that into your calculator and you get the answer 154. And now for our final step, I've got to just plus these together. I've actually already written that, so I know I need to do it. So if I throw those numbers into my calculator, I get 230.97 and that's my final answer. Remember, centimeters squared at the end there. So we could get asked a question that looks like this. This looks harder than it actually is. It's still our composite shapes, but this time I've got a square with a circle that's been taken out of it. And that's really the big hint. Square with a shape taken away. So that's all I've got to do for this when I write out the shapes that I've got. I had a square and then I took away a circle or square minus circle. So by working out the area of the square, 10 times 10, I get the answer of 100. That's that first bit done. And then I've got to minus the area of the circle that I took away. So that's just pi times five squared. Make sure you use five there because it is the radius. It's not the whole way across. That's 10 centimeters. The radius is half that distance. So once I throw that into my calculator, I get the answer of 78.54. So my last thing that I've got to do, I've already written down. Square, 100, minus that answer for the circle. Throw that into my calculator, 
and I get the answer of 21.46, remembering centimeters squared. I do hope you found this lesson helpful, and I'll see you later.